Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. This is it, we've made it. Welcome back to Monaco. I don't know why I like this place so much. I can never really explain it, but I've had some amazing times here over the years and I've been able to make some amazing content. 812 super fast in a crazy color. And so yeah, it just feels exciting to be here once again. And now that we're here, it felt like there was really only one video we could make as kind of the first video from Monaco, and that was a spotting challenge. Now this is not gonna be Supercars versus Spotters, a series which has run on all of our sort of YouTube channels, myself, Paul Wallace, Shmi150, JWW, etc. for many years. But those guys aren't really here, it's just me and Paul, so it didn't feel right to bring that series back. Instead, we're gonna do a variation of it, which is kind of like, spotter versus man in sports car um, essentially i am in the f type r and i'm going to do a bit of a povlog driving around monaco with a camera strapped to my face showing you guys what i see what cars i find and what other things i find interesting paul is going to go back to his route and be on foot trying to spot as many cars as he can as he walks around this fairly small principality and at the end of the day we'll compare notes and see who saw more incredible Cars. And the winner, well, I don't know what the winner will get. The winner of Supercars vs. Spots never really got anything that interesting either. But yeah, it should just be uh, the perfect way to be back here, to celebrate being back here in Monte Carlo. Now, for classics fans, the first place that's worth checking out is Le Hermitage. And oh my god, there's a Daytona. <gasps> I can see a Ferrari Daytona up there. Oh, and, uh, oh, and a very nice... Vantage Roadster, new Vantage Roadster. Now, nerdy one, is the Daytona a plexiglass? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and get shots of that later. Absolutely mega. Now, oh, Cullinan. Cullinan, very nice. Oh, and a G-Wagon coming up the hill as well. Uh, expectations are pretty high today for this spotting vlog. Oh, and there's Paul. There's Paul. He's giving me the loser signal. Because last night, whilst we were at dinner, because we arrived into town and went straight to dinner, there was a 599 SA Aperta that no one got a photo of, a Pagani Huayra, a Monza in Casino Square. I mean, the cars were insane. We we're like, oh my God, tomorrow we have to get straight out and start spotting. Now, it is a bit of a cloudy day, as I mentioned, but it's a Saturday. So that should mean that good cars are out and about. It's been a relatively quiet start, but there are things lurking around. So yes, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled, but as I say, expectations are quite high. There is an absolutely insane Bentley coming up on my inside. Oh, I don't even know. Is that a Super Sport or is it a fake Super Sport? I mean, they're not big on their tuning in Monaco, apart from like the full-fledged Brapper stuff and things like that, so kind of quirky, but cool i suppose and oh <gasps> rs q3 looking mean weird spot so far but i'm going with it oh 996 oh just a nice um i <laughs> paul's definitely not going to count that in his vlog is he but the one thing which gives me confidence oh very nice rs6 seen a few of those today very cool uh, yeah, one thing which gives me confidence about today's challenge is to know how much ground I can cover. Yes, Monaco is small, there's lots of hills, lots of nooks and crannies. Being in the car, I can just keep doing laps and I can follow things, I can chase things, I can just cover more ground more quickly. SF90, I'm, I'm, I'm being subtle and quick because I'm not supposed to be here, but that is an SF90 and there's a very nice old 911S target, or no, 912 target, sorry. But there is a legit SF90 I don't think Paul's gonna see that. Oh, and an AMG GT. <gasps> Can you see that? Look, so this is the uh, the beach club and they don't really like you filming in the car park here, but look at that. AMG GTC and a 997 GT3. Oh, it's a four liter, it's a four liter, just as the man was coming to tell me to leave. <laughs> oh, I know this is bad footage, but this is insane. And then look at this, that's gotta be an old, is that, that's not a 912, that's a proper 70s 911, isn't it? Oh my God, insane. Now, we don't tend to count cars in dealerships as part of these challenges, but can you see, if I go very slowly, there is a P1 in the McLaren dealership, just there behind the GT, there's a bloody P1. I just wanted to, I'm, not, I'm not counting it as part of the challenge, I just wanted to show you a P1. And then also a couple of nice Romas. Oh, she does. She never looked, did she? I could have been going a bit faster, that would have been a crash. Oh yeah, look at that silver Roma in there with the tan interior. 
blue Roma and oh, oh piece to spider piece to spider I heard that coming before I saw it oh I don't think I'll be able to catch it oh I'm gonna try and loop around piece to spider in like a satin gray silk I don't even know what that color was called now I've got to be honest I think I'm a little bit self-conscious about uh, povlogging in Casino Square but let me quickly show you two yes two F8 tributos one very nice in blue one very nice in black I can already hear people talking saying oh my god he's got a camera strapped to his face <gasps> and another piece to spider oh and there's that 812 but look at that piece to that spec is <gasps> that's my kind of spec anyway i'm embarrassed so let's get out of here i'm not sure if this is going to be considered as cheating but i'm going into a public car park so it's not really spotting cars on the street kind of crosses into the same category as spotting cars in a dealership but I see this as another benefit as to spotting in a car. I can drive in and out of these um, public car parks um, with the car. So, oh, I just got to lean across. Not great having a right-hand drive car and a left-hand drive country, but we are in. And yes, if you didn't know, Monaco's public car parks can be littered with the most outrageous supercars. Now, this one in particular, it's pretty tight to get in and out of so <laughs> that's the only kind of risk i suppose you take or gamble is destroying your car but it can be very much worth it once you are in so actually we're doing all right f-type maneuverability 10 points so let's see if this place is as mad as it was and yes i think straight away the answer is going to be it is Undercover looks like maybe a 488 or a pista 812 super fast silly very nice v12 vantage yes, in green <gasps> lovely I like the Maserati but I realize lots of you won't another very nice red pista oh an NSX I didn't think anyone actually bought them, let alone in Monaco. What a vibe. I know Paul really likes those, so if he was here, he'd be getting very excited. Oh, that DBS Volante is nice. With the sort of very low down front plate, and oh, that's a lovely colour. Trying another car park, just while things are a little bit quiet around town i am expecting to pick up not that it's been silent i mean we've seen some really decent cars and look at this a cullinan coming out straight away first off we've got to negotiate the ramp down never been oh doing this with a camera on your face not so easy We've made it, and yes, look, something low and red. Another RSQ3, what a beast, and a ghost. By the way, if you've never watched a povlog before, I do often miss cars because I'm frantically looking around but also concentrating on driving. I miss things, but yeah, very nice F8 Tributo. Okay, Jaguar, I'm putting my seatbelt on, sorry. Uh, but yeah, look at that, so good. There are lots of F8s in Monaco. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm definitely enjoying the way they look. If you come to Monaco and don't curb a wheel, give yourself a round of applause, you've done well. <gasps> Aventador, first Aventador of the day, first Lamborghini I think of the day, no? Very nice. Look at this out of nowhere. GT3 RS in silver with orange details. Is he stopping? Okay, doesn't want to be on camera clearly. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my God, I don't know if it's real. Being Monaco, you just have to assume it is. I think it's a 73 Carrera RS. There's something about it which doesn't look quite right, but maybe that's just my untrained eye. It is so nice. Black with the red details. 
outrageously cool. Stay there, stay there. It's a chase I just called AUE because yes, F12 TDF in a sand. This is the same color, the same spec as that piece to spider we saw earlier. I wonder if it's the same owner. Absolutely outrageous. My first TDF that I've seen in Monaco and it looks, these things are just, oh yes, 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 go on. <laughs> oh my God, he's revving it. 720S coming the other way. Oh, oh, oh. He's doing things, he's doing things. This is, oh my God, those downshifts. You've got to think, he's probably at like two or 3,000 RPM. <gasps> I mean, you are my new favorite human being ever. Wow, 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 wow. Remember what I was saying earlier about high expectations for today? Well, that is finally starting to come true because I just parked up for dinner. Paul and I thought we would call a truce and have some food and sort of share some stories. Exchange, exchange information. Exchange information and then restart once again once the sort of sun had set. And yeah, I parked the car, come up into Casino Square and there's an SF90 spider. Not the first SF90 I've seen today. What? <laughs> Dinner over, and as you can see, night has descended in Monaco. It is nine, nine o'clock actually, pretty much on the dot. And we are hoping that we're now gonna catch a few cars as they head to dinner. However, it does feel a little bit quiet out here, I have gotta be honest. So we may have peaked. Uh, to sort of recap, obviously, I've seen what I thought was a couple of SF90s. I'm thinking now that maybe it could have been the same car I saw twice. Uh, the TDF, a whole load of pistas. Uh, it's been a good day. I feel, like I feel like we've still got one more car or two more decent cars in us, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, uh, I found out that Paul saw a beautiful 275 GTB Ferrari. I would have gone nuts if I saw that. Uh, and also some quite cool roof, 911 roof. So uh, he's been doing all right. I do feel like we've got the upper hand. So yeah, let's dive into Casino Square and see what's going on. Another Cullinan, surprise, surprise, slash not. <laughs> Seems like every third car in Monaco is a Cullinan. Uh, drop head Phantom, fairly impressive. Uh, now we might actually see Paul here because obviously we've just uh, finished dinner, which was just down the road. Nothing outside the casino, that's a little bit disappointing. Um, oh, another, that's a very nicely specced Continental GT. But yeah, oh, and then there's, oh yeah, a couple of pistas. Pistas, pistas, pistas. Oh, what's this? There's something low and aggressive here. Is it going to be another pista? Oh, so we've got a, an old V8 Vantage Volante, a Cayman S, and then, oh, it's a pista Pilotti. That's pretty cool in black with tyre writing. And then a Dino. Wow, okay, fine. Hey, kicking off at Maya Bay. That was a vibe. You fancy a lift? Yes, please. Oh, Five feet are killing me. <laughs> Shall I pull in here? All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, some of you may have noticed that not only is it, yes, as I keep saying, a little bit quiet in Monaco tonight, I'm nearly out of fuel. I thought for the last kind of hour or so, or maybe even half an hour, I'd pick up Paul. We'd, we'd combine forces, do a final few laps of spotting together. I, I assumed you must be pretty tired yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought that might be the case I thought you know I'm I'm not how many miles 18k 18k yeah that's a joke yeah but it's good for my rings on my Apple watch having said that I'm not that surprised because unbeknownst to me my audience probably realized this I've burned through I don't even know how much fuel, but I'm basically in the red. I don't even remember what oh, I said. Oh, so you're with. killing the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm undecided as to whether I was right or you were right, because this has been epic. Pop yeah. vlogging has been great. Yeah. But the single best spot I made was on foot. <laughs> what? It was the SF90 Spider. <laughs> oh, I think I've won then. 
Oh, why? Because <laughs> I've seen better stuff than that. Oh, no. <laughs> Should we do one more last lap just to kick yeah, you? Yeah, Did yeah, you see yeah. the MG GTR Pro just now? No. Yeah, MG GTR Pro and the 570S, I'm assuming you saw. No. Oh, it's kicking off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs>